refinery is a complex problem. There is a lo lot of data to handle, uh, logistics of the ships coming in, pipelines bringing in crude, pipelines taking out products, ships taking out products, running the process units. Collaboration is a key aspect of scheduling. Uh, in, in most refineries, several people have to work on the problem because you have to manage the logistics, you have to manage the crude units, and then all the product lines, the, the gasoline, the distillates, the fuel oils, and so on. All those things are interconnected and you need to share information to make the, the, the right decisions. Having it all together in one single environment is definitely a, a key enabler for that collaboration. An advanced scaling solution can help you with improved visibility by tracking the composition, by knowing exactly what is coming in and when it should come in. That's when you make most, most of the money, when, when you fill out the units and hit as many constraints as you can in, in the process overall. So an example of, of, of a problem is we, we have a customer that they have issues with tracking the visibility of, of the composition of, the, of their crudes in the tank. So when they have some crude in the, in the tank and they put another crude on top of it, maybe a, a lighter crude, they just assume that everything is now the lighter crude. So when you feed the crude unit, you're making a wrong decision because you're not including the, the heavier crude. And then to avoid problems, you just run at a reduced rate to avoid those issues. So you're leaving some money on the table because of that. That's definitely a, an opportunity to be captured with a more advanced scheduling solution. In our refinery, we have a lot of uh, upset. Some of them are planned, like turnarounds, and some of them are unplanned, could be weather related, a hurricane or something like that. So how do you manage the changes in the operations? That's a big challenge and needs to be, be well thought out. A, a startup or a shutdown of, of the refinery or specific process units can be very challenging and there's a lot of opportunity to, to save some money or to, to lose money also uh, by doing it wrong. Addressing the problem from the beginning with all the complexity that, that it has and trying to see the different scenarios that you can work on and the possibilities to, to make the best decision is really a key aspect. When and managing those, those situations. In refineries, the material in inventory can, is really worth a lot of money. It could be tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Having a good handle on the inventory is key and there, there are some efficiencies to be gained in terms of uh, working capital, reducing the, the amount in the tanks uh, at any given point, it, it will free up capital. So that's, that's definitely a, a big potential saving that you can have. So ideally you want your refinery to run pretty steadily. To do that, you need to work a lot with your tanks. That is, you need to move them up and down, move, move them around a lot to be able to run the refinery as smoothly as you can. The other option is you run your tanks pretty steadily and then your refinery goes up and down, which is definitely what you don't want. A good handle on the tanks, a good handle on the, the, the switches and the transfers and so on on the tanks is a key aspect of scaling and to ensuring smooth operations in the refinery.